Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. We'll continue working with Vu Pioneer 2015 and we're looking on some uh, red flags that maybe slow down render when you work with free version. So first off, let's say why it's Vu Pioneer um, is slow. The main reason is because you limit it only to two CPU. Think about this as a demo version. So if you want to increase how many cores on your computer is rendered, you need to purchase a plug-in or a special module called Render Up. So what is meaning by different cores? Example right here, you can see I have a 12 cores, six physical cores on the computer, but one time when I render only two of those will be used. Rest will be just sitting unused. To increase um, processing, you actually need to go and want to purchase render up. It's not a required model, but again, with the purchasing this module, you will have additional options like higher resolution render if you need it. You also remove some of this logo on the side. You will kind of render panoramic views at additional camera angles, aspect radio show, and most important from this right here, you will also allow you to render up to four CPUs on 32-bit or eight CPUs on 64-bit. So even in my case, I still have a 12 cores, all of them won't be enabled in this version, but it's allowed me significantly increase, uh, decrease render time by allow assign more CPU cores to the render. Most computers will have only eight cores or four cores. So for you, you will utilize almost all system. Okay, also additional options you can see here is available when you have the render up module. If you work for the commercial or you want to create some stunning images, you probably want to go with higher render uh, resolution, but it's again, not required. Just let you know, it's this is one of the reasons why it's may render slow. The other options is what are you using inside the render? For example, what type of atmosphere you may be using. Okay, so we'll go to atmosphere editor and you notice right here we're using photometric. So photometric, if we go ahead and start render right now, you'll notice it will take depend on a processing, okay? So let's, let's do this way. Let's go ahead and we'll just switch to the final. I want all render to screen 800 so we can preview. And let's render one more time. And you notice it will take about eight seconds to render in photometric, same as a spectral. So yeah, eight seconds right here. Okay. And if we're going and switch to, for example, standard, the lowest one, but again, this is the lowest, uh, most simplest atmosphere you can see by settings, but you will see how fast are already visible, visible, and it will take about five seconds or four seconds even in this time to render. So it's a quite a bit faster render. So one, it's what type of atmosphere you're using. Of course, the photometric will give you the most realistic. Standard will be almost same like photometric, but without some um, saturations and lighting correction. So it will be a little bit more saturated look. Volumetric will add some distance and fog. It's very beautiful atmosphere to creating um, fall look or some maybe an ocean. But you're going down, it's a simpler and simpler atmospheres. But again, it will take less and less time to render. Okay, let's go to the standard. And in a standard atmosphere, we have another um, elements that will kind of reduce time on render, actually increase time on render, sorry. It is using clouds. So if we add a cloud, and you can see right here, we add a volumetric cloud layer, that way it will increase um, time because the light, we will calculate how ray, light rays go in the cloud, how they diffuse and distributing and highlight some areas or illuminate it. So this is will also take additional time and this can add quite a bit of time in some cases. And if you put it clouds that it cover camera or camera going through the cloud, that will be insanely long time to render. Again, this is some of the options. So if you want to create cloud, just move them away. Or if you want to switch clouds from the spectral to something more 
like camelos cloud which is will just a layer so you can create those clouds and they will be look less complicated but they will be reduced also in a render because they won't necessarily using this um, real layer of the volumetric cloud so it's more as a one single projection so it will be a little bit faster again and this is you can just using different type of the clouds overall if you have a spectral clouds this is take the longest render and if you're going with the camelus or stratus they will take less and volumetric will be somewhat between them okay this is a one of the um way to look on how speed up the next also it is a reflections and semi-transparency on transparent object and one easy to view when we add a water layer so right here you can see we have the reflection as well we have it some transparency that we can see ground below this also increase a time of the render you have some options that you can maybe modifying or adjusting to reduce time and one of them if you go on default values it is the transparency and also reflections or some angle of reflection if you need to go so right here for example turn reflective with angles it's depend on these properties it can be increasing reflection or increasing transparency and again increasing transparency may increase a little bit more time to render so some options it will affect depend on um what properties you're using so in some cases if you want to see how long or you want to test how good your patient you can go create the atmosphere okay we'll go ahead and preloading spectral let's just go select this maybe clouds okay we'll take these clouds we'll put it 150 meters should be doing good for this okay we can take and then sit down let's add details variation so kind of look cool okay if we set this way and you just says okay now let's make a little bit more sunset -ish if it's have this type of word okay and now if you start rendering this is maybe taking uh, three four five maybe even longer hours to render the scenery inside the pioneer just because different what we using what kind of elements again they all will add to this render time and to kind of a little bit cheat on this or not really cheat or um, reduce time remember you can always modify color um, clouds you also can take a clouds and restrain them so for example if you have it fluffy clouds or spectral you notice right here limited clouds to the zone so you can enable this that will limit those clouds just to one zone it is a little bit harder to manage and work with them you can see right here it's kind of you need to place them on different so but it is um in some cases give you a little bit more flexibility where what area or where you want place in those clouds instead just put them from every area and so it will take a long time to render okay now our next tutorials when we go more hands-on and project we will just work around and kind of look as well on more of the tips how we can reduce some render time but right here watch for the volumetric um, atmospheres volumetric clouds and watch out for some reflection transparency so if you can reduce some of this or remove the one there not really necessary you will reduce significantly time on render inside the view pioneer